एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ए डिस्को प्रेडियस ए बाई फोर हैविंग ए यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड चार्ज सिक्स इज पैलेस्ड इन द एक्स वाई प्लेन विद इट सेंटर एट माइनस ए बाई टू जीरो जीरो ए रोड ऑफ लेंथ स्मॉल ए कैरिंग ए यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड चार्ज एट सी इज पैलेस्ड ऑन द एक्स एक्सेस फ्रॉम एक्स इक्व टू ए बाई फोर टू एक्स इक्व टू फाइव ए बाई फोर टू पॉइंट चार्ज इज माइनस सेवन सी एंड थ्री सी आर पैलेस्ड एट ए बाई फोर माइनस ए बाई फोर जीरो एंड माइनस थ्री ए बाई फोर थ्री ए बाई फोर एंड जीरो रेस्पेक्टिवली कंसिडर ए क्यूबिकल सर्फेस फॉर्म वाई सिक्स सर्फेसेज एक्स इक्व टू प्लस माइनस ए बाई टू वाई इक्व टू प्लस माइनस ए बाई टू एंड जेड इक्व टू प्लस माइनस ए बाई टू इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स पासिंग थ्रू द क्यूबिकल सर्फेस विच इज शोन इन फिगर सो अकॉर्डिंग टू गॉस लॉ वी नो दैट द नेट फ्लक्स पासिंग थ्रू टू एन एन क्लॉज सर्फेस इज इक्व टू टोटल चार्ज विच इज पासिंग थ्रू टू नेट दैट क्लॉज सर्फेस डिवाइड बाई एप्सलम नोट और नेट फ्लक्स इक्व टू समेशन ऑफ क्यू डिवाइड बाई एप्सलम नोट सो अकॉर्डिंग टू डायग्राम द टोटल चार्ज एन क्लॉज बाय द क्यूबिकल सर्फेस इज इक्व टू द चार्ज ऑफ द डिस्क दैट इज इक्व टू एट सिक्स सी डिवाइड बाई टू दैट इज इक्व थ्री सी चार्ज ऑफ द रोड दैट इज इक्व टू एट सी डिवाइड बाई फोर दैट इज इक्व टू टू सी एंड देर आर टू पॉइंट चार्जेस वन ऑफ दैम इज एन क्लॉज बाय द क्यूबिकल सर्फेस इट मीन द टोटल चार्ज एन क्लॉज बाय द क्यूबिकल सर्फेस इज थ्री सी प्लस टू सी माइनस सेवन सी दैट इज इक्व टू माइनस टू सी सो बाय द गॉस थ्योरम अगेन नेट फ्लक्स इक्व टू समेशन ऑफ क्यू डिवाइड बाई एप्सलम नोट दैट इज इक्व टू माइनस टू सी डिवाइड बाई एप्सलम नोट ऑप्शन एज एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन In this question, a solid is melts into a liquid, and the relationship between the pressure P and the temperature capital T of the phase transition is capital P equals to minus three by two T plus P naught, where P naught is constant, and the entropy change at the phase transition is three joule per mole per kelvin. So we know that at the phase transition, temperature is constant, and at the constant temperature. The slope of pressure or the change of pressure with respect to temperature is defined by the Clausius Clapeyron equation, and it is equals to dP upon dT over latent heat L divided by temperature T multiplied by uh, change in volume delta of V, where delta of V equals to V liquid minus V solid. So given that pressure P equals to minus three by two into T plus P naught, so dP by dT becomes minus three by two. As well as change in entropy is equal to L divided by T, and it is given equal to three joule per mole per kelvin. Both values we will put in the equation. That implies minus three by two equal to three divided by V liquid minus V solid. So V liquid minus V solid equal to minus of two. By calculation, we will get V liquid equal to V solid minus two. Option D is MCQ question number eleven. A one-dimensional box contains a par particle whose ground state energy is epsilon. It is observed that a small disturbance causes the particle to emit a photon of energy s nu equals to 21.5 epsilon. After which it is stable. Just before emission, a possible state function of the particle in terms of the uh, energy eigenstates so psi one, psi two, psi three would be. So first of all, we should know about a one-dimensional box in which a particle is moving. For the particle, the wave function is given as square root of two by l sine n pi x divided by l, where n is the state of the particle from one to infinite, and corresponding to this eigen function, the eigen energy value is defined as E n is equals to uh, n square h square divided by eight m l square, when again n is energy states. So according to this formula, the ground state energy is a n equals to one and E n is equals to h square divided by eight m l square. Let this is epsilon. So corresponding to this, E one is equals to epsilon, E two is equals to four epsilon, E three is equals to nine epsilon, E four equals to sixteen epsilon, as shown. And on the other hand, we know that the expectation value of energy is equal to p1 e1 plus p2 e2 plus p3 e3 plus p4 e4 dash 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 dash. So first of all, we are discussing the wave function option C. Let psi is equal to minus 4 psi 4 plus 5 psi 5 divided by square root of 41. So corresponding to this, the probability of finding the particle corresponding to uh, wave function. Psi four is sixteen by forty one, and similarly the probability of finding the particle corresponding to psi five is twenty five by forty one. So total energy of the system 
will be e4 p4 plus e5 p5 that is approximately equals to 21.5 epsilon it means option c is correct but similarly according to this option we can check option a b and d also but these options mcq question number 14 let xt and xd td be the coordinate systems used by observer o and odis respectively observer odis moves with a velocity v equals to beta c where c is the velocity of light along their common positive x axis if x plus equals to x plus ct and x minus equals to x minus ct are the linear combinations of the coordinates then the lorentz transformation relating o and odis takes the form so first of all let a frame of reference as this is moving in a positive x direction with velocity v with respect to a rest frame of reference s so by using the lorentz transformation equations the position component x dash of the particle with respect to moving frame of reference is equals to x minus vt divided by square root of 1 minus v square by c square and time coordinate with respect to moving frame of reference t dash equals to t minus vx divided by c square divided by square root of 1 minus v square by c square and in the question given that the linear combination of the coordinates is x dash plus equals to x dash plus ct dash and x dash is equals to x dash plus minus ct dash that implies x plus dash minus ct dash is equals to x plus minus ct plus vt divided by square root of 1 minus v square by c square that implies x divided by square root of 1 minus v square by c square minus c minus v t divided by square root of 1 minus v square by c square that implies x plus dash is equals to x plus divided by square root of 1 minus beta square where beta equals to vc that implies c minus v divided by square root of 1 minus beta square whole t minus c divided by square root of 1 minus beta square in bracket t minus vx by c square that implies x plus dash is equals to 1 divided by square root of 1 minus beta square in bracket x plus minus c minus vt plus ct minus v by c x minus ct so x plus dash is equals to 1 minus v by c into x divided by 1 minus beta square ka whole root so x plus dash is equals to square root of 1 minus beta divided by 1 plus beta multiplied by x similarly we can get x minus dash equals to square root of 1 plus beta divided by 1 minus beta multiplied by whole x